Hey everyone, welcome back. It's uh, Vordy. I uh, wanted to do a quick video on the new banner here, which uh, kind of has some cool characters. We got Dark Fina, we got Al, and we got Luca. So uh, for those who have progressed through the story uh, up to Alderaan, I believe, you kind of have an understanding of who these characters are, uh, who Al is, and who Luca is, and their relationship, and how uh, our friend Fina becomes uh, that Dark Fina there. So. Uh, it kind of gives you a good idea. So this event, this event here, as you can see, is uh, is coming out very very soon. It's actually coming out uh, ooh, Dark Fina. As you can see here, it's January sixth. So literally, in a few days, Friday ish, Friday ish, uh, Thursday night ish, Friday ish, Thursday night ish. So what ends up happening is after when you wake up in the morning, this is going to be live. They get the boosted. Uh, they get the major boost rates, which means nothing because you're gonna get mostly shadows and everything except these guys. Even though he's a three star, which is really weird. But anyways, so the we'll start bottom up, so that way you guys it's a little bit easier to understand. So L right now he's kind of portrayed as like a like a tank. His job is a soldier, but he's kind of like a tank. He's got chances of countering and stuff. We'll go into the character uh, stuff more in detail. Uh, we'll just pull up the. The wiki and kind of talk about it from there because they kind of break it apart it's a lot easier for me to just kind of point at it for you from there so essentially he's like a tank uh, just by looking at like their kind of stats here and how they kind of portray it like even they don't feel confident that these, this guy is really good because all of his stats are within these little squares so they don't really kind of show I mean his TM is really nice for like a tank or somebody who needs to take damage you get uh, hit points which is really good like Cecil like buffing up Cecil is just like really nice for him but then you get defensive spirit physical damage reduction and then a little bit of reduction from uh, uh, from magic but on top of that for somebody like Cecil you know spirit is gonna help him heal a little bit I mean 10% isn't gonna change all a lot for him because he doesn't really have all that much spirit but still it in a long fight it adds up essentially how that works so he's got a pretty decent TM I mean if you are summoning for Dark Fina and you end up getting a lot of them I mean you know, after you get more than six, you start feeding them, or five, you start four or whatever, you start feeding them into each other, and then from there you can use them as a team group, like how I have my my uh, super Mercedes group set up. So he's pretty good. Um, you know, he wields spears and stuff. The, the only thing I, I personally like about him is that he can draw enemies' gaze with provoke or draw, which is he, he naturally in his kit has provoke. Like a, like a provoke style kind of thing, he draws the attack. It's good and bad. Good because it, people will attack him. Bad, the stats are terrible for that. All right, so we're moving up to the next one. Just gonna look at these pictures, then we'll jump into the characters. Uh, this is uh, Luca. Luca is pretty good. Our trust mastery, again, is pretty decent. I mean, MP spirit is good for healer, like so so. But again, starting at a four base, it's gonna be really hard to kind of farm her up and get a lot of her to make any usefulness of it. But uh, the water resistance again it's it, I, I have a feeling like soon ish they're gonna release like an event where we might have some sort of water monster that you're gonna need this for i mean like i'm sure with the within the event we're getting with the release of this banner we're gonna have some water casting stuff but to the what extent we don't know yet right so she is a healer uh she's pretty good she's got some interesting things that uh the current best healer doesn't have like refia refia currently is the best healer uh however Luca has an AoE uh, effect that kind of removes everything. It removes all status alignments except disease and uh, what is it? Disease and stone, which is kind of cool. It's kind of good. It's kind of like comeback from from uh, COD. But she also has that. But the cool thing about her is she heals you plus she does all those things. So it's like a, a it's like taking CODs or um, Cloud of Darkness's comeback and. You know Rafia's Kiraja and putting them together and then there you go like it's kind of a nifty thing okay so she's pretty good water priestess uh, as you can see here again I made a reference down there where they didn't feel confident about this character being good because I mean look how much she just jumps out of these things like she's clearly a up there she's, she's doing her job well so it's good then uh, the big fish in this banner Dark Fina uh, personally I'm probably not gonna be going for her because I just, I don't know, I just finished leveling up my X-Death, 
you know, to 94. I've pretty much wasted everything I got into him, and he's my currently best mage. I also have a few other mages that are maxed that, you know, if I need to make a mage group, I'm good. If I pull her from a daily pull, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but as of right now, I'm just kind of saving all my my tickets and any any lapis I get for potentially a better banner with like a character that's kind of more carries a little bit more oomph. I know that a lot of people are waiting for Orlando, but I mean, you know, if he comes next, comes next. Who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen next? But yeah, overall, a really good character to probably have as a caster because she has all the main elements for you to cast and her TM is probably one of the best out there probably because uh, right now the discussion is, is does it stack like kind of like uh, letter of arms or letter in arms man in arms uh, the one from Ignis if this stacks then yes then this is kind of beast mode because you can boost your magic attack when you have a rod or a robe equipped that well m almost all mages that you have either have a rod and a robe or they have both so if you get four of these into that, you're going to be destroying, destroying. So even if you put it on her, she's still going to be doing good. But yep, so her stats are also pretty good. And overall, they are uh, monstrous. So, all right, so now what we're going to actually look at is, uh, I like to use Vicky, Vicky, uh, other than using, um, what do you call it, Reddit. Like Reddit's Vicky is really good too as well, but um, Whichever, as long as you give due credit wherever you pull the information, it kind of tells you, you know, it's, it's worthwhile letting you know where the resources come. So you guys can also search them up. So I, I pulled it up here on uh, on the wiki, and essentially this is where Dark Fina is. She's a big girl. She's got uh, the five star, which means like you got 1% to get the crystal if you do a multi, like 11 pull or whatever, 1%, whatever. Whatever it is, it's really, really low, and they give you... Uh, a, on the Japanese one, you, you, there's like a little thing you click on, and it, it kind of gives you uh, like a description of what it is in Japanese. Like it's like one percent, five percent, six percent, whatever. Like what your chances are of getting them. So whatever it is, it's really, really low. It's like between one and five percent, depending on how you uh, how you acquire the crystal. So either way, it's really, really hard to get uh, that crystal. And then it's like one percent to whatever when it's th when the crystal does come down, that that it's gonna be her. So that's what it is. She is. Uh, a dark spirit she's a magic damage dealer female human you know cool stats stats wise she's got strong magic obviously she's a magic dealer and uh yeah not too much i mean once she's six star maxed out then it you know this is kind of what it looks like but with pots and everything in gear this is really sort of irrelevant in a sense because yeah the stats you want you're gonna boost them and they're gonna get better as long as she's technically fitting the best role then you know that it's going to be good however you finish it uh the downside of it is is that her light resistance is uh is pretty poo-poo because right now she gets minus 50 percent i mean i don't know when the next boss is going to come out that deals light damage but you know when that does then you're going to have a problem with her unless you put carbuncle on there or whatever but still that's uh always not a little bit something to think about in the back when you're bringing her to an event uh, the weapons and armors are pretty good. It's standard for uh, for mages, which is good. She's got, she can carry staffs, rods, uh, whips, which is new. There's a new whip that you can use for her in the meantime. And maces. Then you got the hats, the cloth, the robes, and accessories, which is fantastic. It's perfect. Just enough for her. She can take advantage of her own uh, TM if, she, if you do get it, which is great. And then here you have level 8 black magic, which means she can... All the black magic we got right now goes only up to 8, which is perfect. So she can equip... The, all up to level eight which is perfect and then uh, uh, her special abilities you have this stress the stress is a really cool ability it's uh, it's kind of like what Batcat lit has I can't remember what it's called I believe it's hex strike or something on hit there's a chance to do something and yeah so you have this here which is really really cool because it can also be petrified which is huge so it's crazy so I like this which is uh, which is amazing it's a really good spell so 24 uh, 100%. This is nuts. This is huge. She also got the uh, auto refresh uh, naturally in her kit, which is great. I think most five star bases do nowadays, which is great. So, it's, you know, a big battle continues. You'll get 5% of your mana back. Uh, MP boost. This is really, really good for any kind of uh, healer or mage. You take less damage, you know, which is great. Uh, sorry, not take less damage. You 
any caster that can cast a spell like this that reduces the damage of, of uh, attack and damage is really really good to have in your kit because uh, a mage can't always be casting spells. If they do, you're gonna run out of mana really, really quickly. Even though this was pretty heavy, if you don't have a full break unit, it's an AoE. You can full break everything. Like let's say you're fighting that plant, the attack of untumble. You're fighting her, look, you can full break all of them. Well, not full break, but you can do attack and defense break, which is perfect, which is really what you need. You want to make sure that they don't hit you as hard as you can make sure that you can hit them hard. This, I like this. This would be really, really good to bring into, uh, into an event like that. She's got retaliation, which allows her to counter physical attacks with magic, with a multiplier of 0 0.8, which is really cool. Uh, she's got a magic boost. She's got a nice passive here, which increases her resistance, which makes her immune. I don't know why they just wrote resistance, but it makes her immune to silence, paralyze, and petrify because it's 100 percent Then she gets uh, dual black magic and then uh, dystopia, which is dark magic damage multiplier of 2.8 with consecutive damage. So this one is actually one of the things I like to see. So the more you cast this spell up to three times, uh, it increases its multiplier. So you get 2.8 the first time, then you get 2.8 plus or multiplied by 1.6, and then again 1.6, and then 1.6. So you get it to three times, and then you can just keep casting it going forward, and it's going to be a multiplier of all those added together. So you, you can do the math. I mean, but that's kind of cool. The only thing is it's, it, it's kind of heavy on MP, but her pool at 6 star without anything is like 150 or whatever, so you can cast it 3 times no matter what. So as long as you have some good gear, you're going to be able to cast it more than 3 times, if that's the only spell you're casting, which is really cool. Um, I think I made this mention earlier, she's got uh, the elements that you need, so she's really uh, diverse except Fireaga, so instead of Fireaga, I should have said Aroaga, so that's her thing. She does air, uh, air instead of fire, which is good. She's got Osmosis, which is really nice to have on a mage or a caster. Specifically for the reason because, you know what, you need that. Then you have Gariga, which is really good to clearing trash mobs. And then Ultima, which, you know, it depends. This is a upper discussion kind of move. It's a strong move. It's not a strong move. People got different kinds of looks on it. So it's kind of cool. She's got a really cool sprite too. I like it. Um, so the next one here we're going to look at is L. We're going to fly through him because he's kind of doo-doo. He's a three-star base, which you, be, you should be getting the most of him. He's a soldier, which is kind of like a tank. Base stats, nothing impressive. As he gets uh, better, his base stats again change from his pots. Nothing impressive. Uh, no resistances and nothing bad. It's okay. Very limited weapons for a tank. Spears, swords, and, and uh, daggers. Like, I mean, yeah, we have lots of swords and lots of spears. Like, it's useless. Maybe we can get holy lands. That'd be cool. But you can wear, you know, the tanking gear and the accessories. I mean, uh, disappointment, we're not even going to look at it. So here it is, he gets Provoke as naturally in his kit. 70% for 3 turns, which is great. Uh, healing formula, he can heal himself and cure disease to one ally. Uh, water damage, I, mean, I don't know, kind of useless. Defense, draw attacks. On top of having the 70%, he naturally draws attacks to himself, which is really good. But again, it's good. If you're fighting like weak stuff, but if you're fighting like a big boss, you're just gonna consider this guy dead all the time. So it's just it's like a sponge to die through. Uh, piercing lance, two point multiplier, you know, okay. Guardian spear, all right. All damage is like an AOE, like um, like lightning or, or any of those guys that have AOE. You know, one point eight multiplier, same thing. Uh, he's got 20% uh, boost attack, that's cool. He's got 30% chance to counter. This is really really nice. Anytime you have a tank having a uh, counter to it is amazing because you get to dish in free damage technically uh splash throw uh you know weak again it's got a multiply just a little bit higher than this but it costs more like whatever spear master this is kind of decent if it was 50 percent you know it might make it okay but like 20 percent almost makes it not viable because the spears already are kind of doo-doo you got what uh cane and then you got that's it, really. Other than the death scythe, you got the counter the spear. I mean, other than that, it's kind of useless, really. Does water damage, doo doo. Uh, but again, like if it's the best tank you got, or if you're a new player, this is this is a good start. Like I mean, like he's a good start tank, but I don't think you're gonna be able to go to events uh, with him and then be like, oh yeah, he's my main tank, and then survive. Cool uh, leveling up of the sprite. His last sprite looks really, really cool. Looks very animated. It's fantastic. And then the last one, which is the healer. She's a four star going up to a six star. Decent healer. Um, it's pretty good. Her TM is nice. 
Uh, base stats are really good. She's got a lot of hit points, kind of a lot of hit points for um, for healer, which is good. And then her stats, her pot stuff looks good. No natural resistances. Really limited on on gear, which is kind of. Mm. Like there's some harps out there that are kind of so-so. I mean, like in JP, they get a they got one now harp, which is like super cool. So I mean, potentially later on this could become interesting. But right now it's like yeah, it's not bad. She's got a stat trick anyway. Her stuff level six to uh, level six, seven, and eight which is great, so she's got access to all the white magic spells that you can get from TMs right now, up to her. Okay, for her special kit here, her kit is, um, it's alright, it's not bad. It's got mana, her heal regeneration, which heals 1150 hit points by a multiplier of 8 over 3 turns to all allies, it's kind of nice, it's kind of like a AoE regen, which is great. Water God's, uh, Water God's Breath. You know, AoE damage, again, multiplier 1.8, which is not bad if you needed it, but you probably have somebody else that can do it. Uh, Aqua Refresh, Auto Regen for herself, uh, where she gets life and uh, mana back. Great. This is the the really nice one. It's the Priestess's Miracle. She heals 1,000 hit points of a multiplier of 3.4 and cures Poison, Blind, Sleep, Silence, Paralyze, and Confuse to all allies. Amazing ability. You know, if she had something like Hirasha, she would be incredible. This would be beastly. Or no, actually, like more like like a like a full raise instead of just like a normal raise. But uh, yeah, so it's good. She gets a spirit boost. She gets increases water resistance for three turns, which is really nice. So we're assuming that there's going to be some water bosses coming up that are going to require this. Otherwise, why put it in there? Deep blue. It's kind of like a kinda like a not like a cheer. <laughs> it's like a focus. <laughs> kind of like a mixture of focus and triggers with defense and spirit, but whatever. You can have that too on there. So she's got uh, Kiraja on her own, sorry, Kiraga. And then she's got Cleanse, Stone, and Raise. So Raise is good, but it's, I, this is the 30% Raise, if I recall correctly, which means she raises somebody with 30% life. So if she doesn't have dual cast, it's, it's going to be kind of doo doo. But yeah, so that's pretty good. You know, her special ability. Not bad, nothing worth mentioning. And she's got a, again, cool sprite. The last sprite is kind of cool, but again, if you got Rafia or another healer, like, this is a healer that you probably won't use yet until we see more bosses that have uh, more damage. And speaking of the guy that everybody wants, this is the guy everybody wants. This beast, we're not gonna talk about it, just kind of showing it. But uh, yeah, so this is Orlando. He is a Jedi. So hopefully we'll see him one day, and then when we do, <laughs> hopefully we get him, because apparently he's supposed to be a beast if you get him like uh, Excalibur or something, which is great. So thanks again for tuning in, everyone. Uh, that was kind of our, our our long review of the characters and kind of my opinion on them. Should you pull, uh, if you're saving and you're a free-to-play player, I probably wouldn't pull. I would do the free pulls because right now you're getting the hundred, um, you're getting a hundred uh, lapis for completing the daily quest, plus all the things in there. So you're almost getting, I think, almost like 200-ish something, which means you should be able to, just by doing the daily quests, have enough, uh, including with the arena and stuff, to be able to get a daily pull for free, technically. Um, so yeah, uh, do the daily pull. They're 250, they're half off, and uh, you have a chance of getting uh, one of these units. If not, you know, if you get a crystal, like a rainbow crystal, hey, congratulations. So, you know, it, it's not a waste, you'll still get something. Uh, I would definitely do those. I, I'm going to do them myself in hopes to get something. I mean, I would really like to get more Zidane uh, or Zidane's uh, and uh, who else is there? Like any of these guys that you have awesome TMs would love to get more of them. So I will always do the daily pulls. So yeah, uh, overall, if you're going to be wasting Lapis, I don't know if you should. The characters don't, they're not a game breaking like Lightning or Lunith or, or like Noctis. So I wouldn't say like, yeah, they're going to carry your whole team. So I wouldn't pull hard. Uh, but yeah, daily pulls, go for it, and then uh, hopefully, you know, save in the meantime until you get uh, something better, like a, like a, a banner where a character is going to carry you, you know, Orlando, like Onion Knight, or whatever that comes in. Okay, thanks again for tuning in, guys. Enjoy. Uh, again, leave uh, the thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't like it. If you leave a thumbs down, please uh, let me know why. Like, let me know what you didn't like, what I can improve, so that uh, maybe we can turn that, that uh, bottom thumbs up to make it uh, make it worthwhile thanks again enjoy and uh bye